Hi everyone, welcome to TechPrint YouTube channel. If you're looking for efficient ways to store product attributes in your database, you've come to the right place. Today we are diving into how to use JSONB in PostgreSQL for managing dynamic product data. First, let's start by understanding PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL is an open source relational database management system that is widely used by developers across the globe. PostgreSQL is known for its advanced data types and powerful querying capacities. Whether you're working with standard SQL data or something more complex like JSON, arrays, or even custom types, PostgreSQL can handle it. Now, before we dive into JSONB, let's quickly go over some of the pros and cons of PostgreSQL itself. PostgreSQL is asset compliance, meaning it guarantees transaction reliability, so no need to worry about data integrity. It also supports a rich variety of data types like JSON, arrays, and custom types, allowing you to work with both structured and unstructured data efficiently. Another great feature is its extensibility. PostgreSQL allows you to extend its capabilities with plugins, functions, and custom procedures. Of course, being open source and free is another huge plus. You get enterprise level capabilities without the cost. But like any tool, it does come with a few drawbacks. First, PostgreSQL has a steeper learning curve when it comes to its more advanced features. If you are a beginner, it might take some time to get comfortable with everything it offers. Additionally, for a very large data set, PostgreSQL can be memory intensive, so you might need more resources for optimal performance. Let's focus on JSONB. JSONB is perfect for product attributes storage because it provides flexibility and speed. Instead of rigid table structures, you can store dynamic key value pairs directly within your database. This makes it ideal for scenarios where each product might have different attributes. What exactly is JSONB in PostgreSQL? JSONB is a binary representation of JSON data that makes indexing, searching, and manipulating JSON data faster and more efficient. JSONB is particularly useful because it outperforms plain JSON in most cases due to its efficient storage and indexing capabilities. Here's an example of a typical JSONB object you might use for product attributes in an e-commerce. Here's an example of a typical JSONB object you might use for product attributes in an e-commerce platform. JSONB allows you to store complex nested data like product specifications in a single record, making it perfect for schema-less data. Let's break down the key differences between JSON and JSONB so you can understand why JSONB is a better choice for most applications. First, JSON is stored as plain text, while JSONB is stored in binary format, which allows for faster querying and better indexing. With JSONB, you get full indexing support meaning faster searches, especially when querying specific keys or nested data. However, JSONB takes slightly longer to insert as it converts the JSON to binary upon insertion. Let's look at the pros of using JSONB. 
JSONB offers efficient storage and indexing of JSON data, meaning you can perform key value lookups or path queries with ease. It also supports powerful querying capabilities, allowing you to filter data based on specific fields or attributes within your JSON structure. If your data structure is not always fixed, like product attributes that vary, JSONB is perfect for storing semi-structured or dynamic data. But of course, there are some cons to consider. There's a slight overhead when converting regular JSON into the binary format of JSONB. This extra processing can slow things down slightly during insertion. If your JSON data is deeply nested or very large, JSONB can become slower to work with. The more complex the structure, the more PostgreSQL has to work to retrieve and manipulate the data. Why should you use JSONB? It is perfect for storing flexible schema-less data, particularly when product attributes vary across records. It allows for easy expansion and adjustment of data models without needing to go through schema migrations. This makes it ideal for e-commerce platforms or any application that deals with variable data. Let's go through some common scenarios when JSONB shines. First, when storing product attributes, you can easily insert JSONB data without worrying about predefined structures. JSONB also allows for efficient querying. For example, you can search for products based on specific attributes like RAM or brand. This flexibility makes it super powerful for featuring and retrieving exactly what you need from semi-structured data. One of the coolest features is the ability to update specific fields in your JSONB data without affecting the entire object. This ensures that you can perform partial updates on your data, saving time and resources. If you're working with large data sets, you will want to index your JSONB fields for faster query performance. Gene indexes make searching through JSONB data incredibly fast, even for complex queries involving deeply nested fields. Once you've installed PostgreSQL on your machine, run the following command to connect to your PostgreSQL database. After establishing the connection, create your database by executing the following command. We've successfully created our database. Next, create a table within your database. Now we're going to run this SQL command in our PostgreSQL environment to create a product table. This table includes an ID, a name, and an attributes column, which uses JSONB for flexible product attributes. So now we are now connected to our database. So now let's run this SQL command in our PostgreSQL environment to create a product table. This table includes an ID, a name, and, and an attributes column, which uses JSONB for flexible product attributes. Now we successfully created our table. Make sure you have the necessary privileges to manage the database. You can run this command to grant all privileges on the database to your user, ensuring you can perform all operations. You can see permission have been granted successfully. So. Let's quickly run through the full CRUD operations with JSONB. So insert JSONB into a table. Then you can retrieve JSONB attributes and filter on keys. We already inserted 
JSON B into our table. Let us retrieve JSON attributes and filter on keys. We successfully insert JSON B into our table. Let us retrieve JSON B attributes and filter on keys. We can also modify specific fields in JSON B object. We can remove records ensuring JSON B constraints are respected. You can easily integrate with JSON B using libraries like Psychop G2. With Psychop G2 and Flask, you can perform full CRUD operations on JSON B data from your Python applications, making it easy to build flexible APIs. Now let's talk about improving query performance with gene indexes in PostgreSQL, especially when working with JSON B data. To create a gene index on your JSON B field, use this command. It will help improve the speed of queries that involve JSON B attributes. You can see index created successfully. Here are some best practices when using gene indexes for JSON B. The first one to talk about is index frequently queried keys. Always index the JSON B fields that are frequently queried to ensure a faster lookups. The second point is use gene for complex queries. Gene indexes significantly boost performance, especially for complex or deeply nested JSON B queries. The top point is to avoid overusing JSON B for strict schema data. JSON B is great for flexible data but avoid overusing it for data that fits a strict schema. Stick to structured columns for such cases. With these tips, you can leverage gene indexes to get the most out of your JSON B data in PostgreSQL. To get the most out of JSON B, here are a few optimization tips. Use gene indexes for frequent queries field and avoid deeply nested JSON structures for better performance. And also leverage PostgreSQL's rich indexing and query options for better performance. Combine gene indexes with filters to optimize performance on JSON B data queries. Avoid using JSON B for all fields in your table. JSON B is best for flexible attributes, not for structured data that fits well in regular columns. Stick to JSON B only when you need schema flexibility. Don't store large blobs of JSON in a single record without proper indexing. Without an index, querying large unstructured data can lead to significant performance degradation. Querying deep nested JSON feeds without an index is a major performance bottleneck. Always index JSON B fields that are frequently queried to optimize retrieval speed. Avoid these anti patterns to make the most out of JSON B in PostgreSQL and keep your queries efficient. Now let us create a simple CRUD application for product table. The first thing to do here is to create a directory for our application. Inside the directory, now we're going to create two files. Then let us create a virtual environment. Let us activate our virtual environment. Now we successfully activated our virtual environment. Next thing to do here is to install the following libraries, which will be required in this in our application. If you haven't created your PostgreSQL database, please make sure you do that. So let us set up our Flask application. We've created a Python file called main. Now let's open our Visual Studio code. Let us import the necessary libraries. We successfully imported the necessary libraries. The Flask course libraries allow us to undo cross-origin resource sharing, which is crucial for API calls. Next, let's create a function to connect to our database. Here is how you can do that. Make sure you replace the username and password with your PostgreSQL credentials. This function establishes a connection to our product database. 
Now let's set up our CRUD operations. We will start with the create operation. This route listing for post request to create a new product. We extract the product name and attributes from the request body and insert them into the database. Next up, let us implement the read operation to fetch all products from our database. Endpoint returns a list of all products in JSON format, making it easy to display them on our front end. Now, let us handle the update and delete operations. These two endpoints allow us to update product details and delete products by their ID. It is straightforward and follow the RESTful API's principles. Now, let us integrate this CRUD operation with our front end. We already created an index.html file. In this HTML file, we have a form to add new products and a section to display the list of products. The bootstrap library is used for styling. Finally, then we implemented the JavaScript functionality to interact with our Flask API. This script fetches products from our API and dynamically populates the product table in our HTML. It also includes functions for deleting and editing products. You can find the link to the source code in the comment section below. Now let us run our application and test it. Use the following command to run our application. Our Flask application is running successfully. Now let us run the front end. You can see our front end is serving on port 8000. Let's view that on our browser. You can see some existing products which we already added which we already added in our database. So you can see the product name, the ID, the product name, and the attributes, and also the action. Now let's delete all these products and add new ones. We successfully deleted this product. Let's get this deleted. We successfully deleted this. Now let us add new products. Sample products. You can see product added successfully. We've added a new product. Now let us edit the product. Let's edit by adding size. Let's add size to our product. Let's edit the product name. product updated successfully you can see the update here so and that is it to wrap up let's highlight some key points json b is highly useful for managing semi-structured data allowing for efficient storage and retrieval of complex data types progress queue stands out as a powerful and flexible database system enabling complex querying capabilities that can handle diverse data structures always remember to apply best practices for indexing querying and optimizing JSONB data to ensure your applications run smoothly and efficiently. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more insights.